Okay, in this example, we'll take a look at PowerPoint 2007's gradient fill to create this interesting and really somewhat dramatic lighting effect, right? So if I bring open PowerPoint, you can see that from my starting image, wow, I have this really you know bright background. It's obviously high noon, got a golfer right here. Add a shape with a simple gradient and check that out, right? We've really transformed the entire mood of this slide of this background because we can still see parts of the, the mountains or the golf course back here and they fade into a, a small lighted area before fading back out into the night, into the dark. Great way to transform, you know, a really bright and vibrant uh, theme or image back into something that's a little bit darker, maybe a little bit more mysterious because you have these shadows. Quick example right here, the two guys at a conference, turn that off. Right, absolutely, there's no way to make this a workable image as it is. There's just too much noise, too much competition between the background and the foreground. Add a gradient rectangle between the two. Absolutely, you know, you have a workable concept. Okay, so let's go ahead and just start. We have this image, right, of the background and the golfer. Golfer has his background removed, but that's absolutely optional because the effect doesn't come from the transparency of the object on top. It comes from the rectangle with the gradient in between the bottom layer and the top layer. So let's go ahead and just draw that rectangle out right now. So insert shape rectangle, drag that out for the entire slide, double click it or click format menu, change the color to black, shape fill gradient, and more gradients. So this is where we can bring this all together. So by default, it probably says solid fill. Go down to gradient fill. Whatever the last gradient fill is that you worked on, that's what um, it'll probably bring up. I'm starting out with just this, this fourth default daybreak setting. So if you're following along, that's what I'm working with. Jump down here to stops. By default, this gradient has four stops. Now a stop is nothing more than a color change in the actual gradient. So in this case, there are four color changes. And then obviously PowerPoint blends those, in those changes, the, the space in between the stops to create that gradient. We only want three, so select four and click remove and that gives us three gradients. Now the stops that we want to work with will be black right here, white to let you know see through the golf course and then black again so black white black. So select stop one we'll change that to black see how it changes up there stop two white four black right oops white stop three is black Okay, so we go black, white, black. And all we want to do now is just modify the position of where this is. So let's go back up to stop one. And really not knowing exactly which settings to use, I'm just going to continue to drag this out. Even though um, I kind of have a rough idea of how this will work, you never really know until you've gone through all of them. So I just added a little bit of transparency and move the stop position out, begin to see the image in the background. So stop two. Stop two I know is going to have a high transparency right? Because that's how we can see through the image. But where the stop position goes, you know, I really don't know. So I'm just going to put it at 50 for now. Stop three. We'll have a little bit of transparency, not a lot, because that's the bottom and the top part. But I just want to modify where this goes. And you can see as I go all the way over, you can see how I can move this back and forth. Okay, going to uh, close and I'm going to bring this guy to the top later so I can actually get a better idea of what this is going to look like. Looks pretty good right here, right? We have some, we have, we can see a little bit of the background. We can see the golf course, but let's bring this a little bit darker. So double click the shape, shape fill, gradient, more gradient, stop one. And we just want to basically probably move this, this gradient down a little bit farther. Okay. Maybe up a little bit more. That should be good. I want to bring the transparency down and let's just leave it like that. And essentially, there's our effect. Looks great. But the guy's a little bit bright. So maybe the light's shining on him. That's fine. Or we could just double click him, change brightness, and maybe bring him down 10 a little bit just to make it look like it might be fitting a little bit more in the mood. But what a great way to transform your slides into a completely, uh, really just a different mood and different use. Because if you look at that, I mean, that's a real bright image. Using a simple gradient, you can now draw focus. And of course, depending on your image, right, you might want to draw focus to the background and have all of this fading down. Totally possible. It just depends on where your focal point is, where you want to put your text, and where you want to work your images will determine, you know, the different stop points for your gradient. But a great way to kind of experiment and reuse images in a completely different way.